I won't, you know what, I honestly won't be surprised if I see Marcus on the news tomorrow that he's in jail for property damage. Obviously I'm kidding. Obviously I'm kidding. Dodgers win the World Series in tonight's game. Thanks to the Yankees playing the worst defensive game I've ever seen in my entire life. I will say this, it's one of the best managerial jobs I've ever seen in a World Series, in a playoffs, and Dave Roberts, you were amazing. With that roster, with those moves, with those choices, it all worked out. It wasn't the prettiest at times, as far as bullpen games, the amount of guys they had to use, but they used their entire roster this postseason. Teoscar Hernandez wins the ring. So does Shohei Otani in his first time in the postseason. And there is your likely MVP, Freddie Freeman, who homers in the first four games. Mookie Betts becomes the first... Calm down, Mookie. You've won rings. two already. With the Red Sox in 2018. And his first year with the Dodgers in 20. And now he can really celebrate in 2024. And redemption for the Dodgers, validation for Dave Roberts. He won all his success in the regular season. His team's failures in the postseason meant that he was feeling pressure coming into this October. But he guided him back from the brink of elimination in the division series to the championship series where they were pushed. I mean, he had to manage, truly manage the Dodgers through this run. Down to that celebration we go, here's Tom Verducci. I am with Mookie Betts, and Mookie, if this is the signature game of the LA Dodgers, winning the World Championship, coming from down five runs in the fifth, down one run in the eighth, championship team. I mean, we're obviously resilient, but there's so much love in this clubhouse, this care that, care that won this game today. That's what it was. It was love, it was grit. I mean, it was just a, a beautiful thing, and I'm just proud of us, and I'm just happy for us. Okay, the winning run scored with your at-bats. The fourth time you saw Luke Weaver in this World Series. One pitch, take us through your game plan and approach. Oh, uh, at that point, I was just, don't strike out. Put one in play right there, you never know what's going to happen. And uh, I had a little talk with Freddie right before that, because I didn't know what to do. And Freddie just said, trust your gut. And so I went up there and just said, put it in play. Your third ring, this time there's a parade that comes with it, Mookie. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. We come in L.A. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Now to Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Tom. We're waiting for Walker right here. Walker. Yeah, can y'all let him do the interview? Walker, like when you woke up this morning, did you have any inkling you'd be closing out the clinching game of this series? Well, I, I didn't throw a ball until I went out there, so, uh, no. 
after all you went through this almost two years and up and down season what does it mean to you to do what you did tonight um obviously for me personally here it's two two years off two surgeries uh it's a lot <laughs> for our organization we we deserve this we've been playing really good baseball for a lot of years and 2020 and whatever but i can't say a whole lot about it now how did you feel out there I don't know. It's hard to explain. I, you know, I felt like I weighed about five pounds, and um, you don't know. wish I was in a little better shape so my heart could have handled it better. But team, it worked yeah. out. Man. The team. You guys were down two-one in the division series to the Padres. You were down five-nothing tonight. What is it about this group that makes it so resilient? You know, there's there's just a lot of ways we can win baseball games. Obviously, the superstars we have on our team and the discipline. It just kind of all adds up, and it's a big inning. You know, it's, this is just wild. Welcome, congratulations. Thank you. All right, Kenny. Shohei Otani, the guy that was supposed to get him over the top, certainly helped get him here, but it was the rest of the cast that won it. With Otani struggling in this World Series, everybody else around him picked up the pieces, and here they are as champions. Back down to the field, here's Tom. Blake Trident, what an effort. At the end of a long season, you've worked hard in this World Series. A lot of emotion after that last strikeout. How are you feeling physically tonight? I feel great right now. Um, you know, it's the favor of the Lord on my body. I've been praying just to be ready and able for this team when they need me. Um, man, what a, what a moment for our team to down 5-0. <laughs> what a moment for us to come back. Yeah, no one's ever done that before, Blake. Coming oh, really? five runs down to clinch the World Series. What does that say about the LA Dodgers? Well, I've been very blessed to be part of this organization for my fifth year now. My first year, we were, you know, very blessed to have a World Series in Texas. And there's been a lot of people that want to discredit 2020. And I don't want to harp on this a lot, but it's so great to see the guys that are still here from then. Doc, the players, front office, being able to finally silence the critics on this because Every year has its challenges. Everybody has the same playing field. That's an amazing team we just played. This team has zero quit in it. And every single night, if we don't have the outcome we want, there's always guys out there picking each other up and, and challenging ourselves to be better. And that's why we won tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. So few championships have been so well earned. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, Joe. All right, Tom. So the Dodgers win their eighth world championship. And for the fourth time, they do it over the Yankees. Seven games in 1955. Complete game two hit shutout from Johnny Padres to clinch their first title after the Yankees had beaten the first five head to head matchups. Then in 63, they sweep the Yankees behind the dominant pitching of Koufax and Drysdale. And again, Padres. And then in 1981, the late Fernando Valenzuela pitches the toughest, grittiest game of his life to turn that series around. And they do it here in 2024. This is back what it looked like when they got their first title. When the Bums, as they called them, finally found a way to win it. Time of the sort of celebrating in 1981. Freddie Freeman started this show with the Grand Slam, the walk-off Grand Slam in Game 1, the first one in World Series history. And they capped the World Series with more history, the largest comeback win in a clinching game from down 5 nothing to win 7-6. Plenty more to come. The trophy presentation on the other side of the break. The Los Angeles Dodgers, the champions of baseball in 2024.